the night of the 24th of July 1943, the 28 members of the Great Council of Fascism meet to decide upon the removal as Chief of the Armed Forces and Chief of State of His Excellency Benito Mussolini. I was born on the 29th of July 1883. <gasps> oh, look at you, Benito. Look at you. Oh, you become an adult. You... <laughs> Even the fact that I was born a socialist. In 1900, I joined the Socialist Party, and within 40 years, I became one of its party leaders, and it is there. There. Huh. Winston Churchill, you. Roosevelt. Oh. Who could have imagined that an obscure Georgian prisoner jailed in Siberia for nine years? Nine years! But the name of Joseph Stalin. Every day, since 1925, the Duce drinks a glass of milk. I want you to be a violinist, and Adolf Hitler wants you to be a painter. But destiny. Let us pursue the most noble of arts, politics. I order the immediate invasion of Greece. <laughs> and since the outbreak of the First World War, I and Winston Churchill kept a secret correspondence. And if the word were to know the contents of these letters, it would be the end of his political career. <laughs> Churchill. Churchill! As you will know, I only drive Alfa Romeos and I always drive my cars myself. I never use a chauffeur. The first time I actually met you, if you remember, it was right while I was driving my Alfa Romeo. A true socialist, I never surrendered to the idea of the bourgeois marriage. And I claim I never, and I repeat, never had to seduce a woman. Mamma, 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 Work in the public administration. The greatest of emotions. I have been a dictator. But a good one. Stalin sits over a heap of corpses and bones and human flesh and nobody cares about what he did. 